So before I get into the whole ordeal about why my account is in collections, I just want to apologize really fast to my community. Hey y'all, thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Before I get into the whole ordeal about why my account is in collections and all that, I just want to apologize really fast to my community because I did give some information that was not accurate. And that information is about the proctored exams. So in my other videos, I have stated that there are no proctored exams and that is not true. And I just want to say I'm so sorry about that. And I did state that because of the fact that every time I've taken an exam at the end of my classes, they never said anything about it being proctored and I just did it on my computer. So basically you do have to take a proctored exam after each semester. So I do apologize about that. I will link more information in the description box below. So let's get into why my account is in collections right now, or I should say was in collections. What had happened was I misplaced my debit card. Well, actually, I think somebody stole my credit card. I went to the donut shop one morning to my kids to go get something to eat. And I realized once I had left there, gone to Walmart, that I didn't have my card. And I looked for it, could not find it anywhere. It was nowhere to be found. So I assumed that the people from the donut shop never did give me my car back. I went back to that same donut shop and they basically told me that they did not have my car. So therefore, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it, but cancel it. To make a long story short, I ended up canceling my card. And once I did that, of course, Ashworth College could not get any payments from me. At that time, of course, as you guys know from my last video, I had not really been doing anything in my classes. It had been, what, four months, <laughs> going on five months that I had done anything. And so I just kind of put it on the back burner and I kept on saying, you know what, I'll pay it next month. I'll pay it next month. I'll pay it next month. Well, I never got around to it. And so let me tell you, they did try to communicate to me that I needed to make a payment immediately but me being a procrastinator, I never did take care of the payments that needed to be taken care of. So I got an email from Ashworth College saying that I needed to pay my account up immediately or was going to go into collection. So first of all, they did try to contact me several times. I never answered the phone. They would leave messages. I never even responded to those messages. I would just kept on saying, you know, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Well, I finally got an email that was showing that my account was in collections, y'all. So when I seen that, y'all, I called immediately because I was going to have to pay $715 in order to keep it from going into collections. So I called them and... You know, I just said to them, hey, I know I haven't been making a payment, but what can I do to prevent my account from going into collections? So the lady that I spoke with, she was really, really nice. Every time I call, they're very, very nice about things. And um, she told me that, okay, you know, it, it'll be okay. What you can do is go ahead and pay your account up and they would not send it to collections. And then on top of that, I could go ahead and start resuming my classes so the balance that I did owe was $148. So I went ahead and paid that. Thank God my account did not officially go into collections, but it was about to go. So I say all that to say, do not be like me. Please pay your tuition on time. If you lose your debit card or anything, please call and update your payment immediately so you won't have to deal with what I did. I did enroll into Ashworth College last year on um, January 8th. So it's coming on my one year anniversary with Ashworth College. And like I told you guys, it's been really good so far. And with it almost being a year, of course, Ashworth will allow you more time to finish your college degree. What I didn't know is that they charge you a fee for having to extend the amount of time that you need 
with completing the courses. If I do not finish my classes by January 8th, then I'm gonna have to pay that extension fee. Now, like I mentioned, they are really good about communicating. They did send me a 60 day notice just to let me know that it is coming up on one year or 12 months that I have been enrolled and I would need to finish my classes. If not, then I do have that option to extend it another six months and I would have to pay $95 to do that so now what I'm having to do because being the procrastinator I am I'm having to try to complete my classes ASAP I have three more classes you guys that I will need to complete by January 8th that's where I'm at right now and hopefully I can get it done I know I can get it done but now it's like really crunch time because I'm trying to do this the cheapest way as possible and it's not gonna be any cheaper if I'm having to pay an extension every time. Now with the extension, they do allow you to do that two times per semester, if I'm not mistaken. Please do not quote me on that. Um, I will definitely put in the right information once I look at it again. So yeah, that's just an update for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I will do the best that I can to give you guys the accurate information. Also, please take a look into that degree catalog that's linked down below because it does also have some really good information in there for you. So pretty much anything that might be related to tuition, readmission, um, transferring credits, all of that is in that handbook. If you did find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below so other people can find my channel and get more information about Ashworth College. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.